Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video, we're going to review how and why you should configure uh, the application generation options in IronSpeed Designer. So, before I get into the how, I want to start with the why. Why should we configure our application generation options? Well, the reason we should do this is that it will save time. Every minute that you spend beforehand configuring your application generation options will save many times that down the line. And the reason is, is that Iron Speed by default likes to create lots of pages and it likes to create lots of options, many of which you may not need for your particular business. So going directly into your options early on before you've created your project is one of the greatest time savers that you can implement. Now before IronSpeed 11 you would access all of the application generation options by clicking on this options box in the application wizard. Currently if you click on it in IronSpeed 11 or later you will see that uh, very common options that are common to all page types are located there. And so those are still there. But to access specific page options, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the suppliers table. As you can see, because this is sort of a memorized set of pages, uh, the add, edit record, and the, the view record, and the basic table control have been selected. And so if you want to select an add record page and you want it configured in a specific way you could either right click and click configure or click the configure button what this reveals is all the page options for the add record page and you may want to uh, change certain things like you may say uh, in, rather than two columns you want three columns you may want to change the number of detail tables uh, to automatically generate. I'm personally in favor of saying all so that if you have several uh, detail tables, uh, 10 of them, they'll all appear there and so on. What's important to note is that if I do save this, what I'm doing is I am configuring the add record properties for all tables that are going to be generated. This means that if I were to select shippers as well, the add record configuration will be the same. Configuring application generation options for add record, edit record, and show record pages is certainly important in saving you time down the line, but the number of options that these page types contain is eclipsed by the number of options on page types that present tables of records, such as basic. If we look, for instance, at the basic page type and we open it to configure, we see that not only do we have the table panel, but the filters that can be used uh, to search for the data, and all the table buttons such as add record, edit record, copy record, and the export to the various formats like PDF, Excel and Word, CSV, and import data which I like to shut off most of the time. Now you may be at an organization that may not want to give the ability to uh, create a PDF report for every page of data or to allow an export to an Excel file uh, for fear of loss of critical data and that's understandable. If that is the case then you can implement policy throughout your application by making the changes here. Now up to now we've only looked at page generation options for various page types but there's another set of options that should be explored and configured early in the application development cycle. Uh, to see that I'm going to exit out of the application wizard and you can see these options by clicking configure application under tools. This is not application generation options per se, but what it is is a set of settings that will allow you to tell the application how to behave. For instance, uh, do you want to permit the retrieval of user location? Uh, using geolocation and you could say yes you want to do that or you don't system-wide. 
for security you want to probably always enforce URL parameter encryption for the sign-in page uh, you might might have different policies uh, do you want to have an remember user checkbox maybe do you want to have a remember password checkbox uh, maybe not an automatically sign in checkbox I probably never want to put that on my site but that's up to you so this page contains these other settings for things like rich text editor and data export and the a few mobile page options so in the hierarchy of steps that can save you time uh, building your iron speed designer application first thing is design a good database with foreign key and primary keys all set up the second greatest thing you can do to save time is configure your application generation options everything else is incremental after that I hope that this video has been helpful for more information you can research the resources at ironspeed and logicaldevelopers.com thanks for watching